Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Paige Benjamin. I am the uh, host of the State of the Black Man's Mental Health, uh, Travel Tuesday Happy Hour, getting my cheese back on my cracker, um, and uh, curator of the CHNO Network, the Melanin Network, and I'm with... Khadija Richardson. Khadija Richardson. So Khadija, tell us what brought you to this podcast summit. Well, I've been doing online classes. I'm mm -hmm. a trainer mm -hmm. and I wanted to expand my reach. I wanted to be able to get my message to more people. So a friend of mine sent me the link and I said, I'm going to do it. Okay. Come down here and learn some stuff. Okay. Okay. And so what typically would um, you want to talk about on your podcast? Well, I, I deal with a variety of issues, uh, primarily, excuse me, I got gone, mm -hmm. primarily leadership mm -hmm. with um, within the church, what okay. it's supposed to be, what it is, oh, what wow. it actually is, okay. which is contrary to what it's supposed to be. Okay, okay. So I'm that thorn in somebody's side. <laughs> mm, we, we need that. We need that because yeah. he does it all the time to us, and it's just a matter of us just saying, you know what? I understand, thank you, appreciate it. I'm on um, my way. I'm on my way, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, and so, um, in doing that, right, what is, this is the first step to getting there. Right. Right? Now, would you be the type that want to go out and just do it all your own? Or would it be something where you would like to join a community of people that's already doing it and just kind of learn as you go? I think a community of people, I, I, I believe we have to reinvent the wheel. Right, right. So that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to reinvent it. Okay, There's okay. some people who got it right mm -hmm. and that are doing it, and so I want to learn from them. Like, I want people to learn from me. Awesome, awesome. Now, what is it that you want really people to get out of your podcast? What I want them to get is that everybody has God-given abilities and gifts and he intended for all of us to be able to use them, mm. not a select few. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal in teaching people how to tap in to what the creator has already put inside of you mm. and to flourish in that. Okay, okay, that, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. I like what you're doing. Uh, listen, you know, this is honestly, um, and you're, you're talking about gifts, right? Um, I'm learning to work, walk in my purpose, right? Okay. Walk in the gift of service that God has given me. Okay. And, um, you know, we don't always talk about God. We don't always talk about our, our practice. But I believe regardless of what people believe in, um, we all have a purpose in life. Yes. Right? And yes. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one of my podcasts is around advocating for mental health. Okay. And one of the things that, um, you know, I, I made sure when we started talking about it was talking about the, um, the, the, the fork in the road between mm -hmm. church and mental health. Mm -hmm. And the fact that um, in the past, it hasn't been a thing that's been meshed together. Right. And we were able to talk to um, a deacon, a minister, and a reverend and kind of have the conversation with them. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, did God not give us gifts to help one another? Can I add something yes, to that for you? Yes, ma'am. Um, the scripture says there is safety mm. in the multitude of counsel. Mm. God always intended for us to get counsel. If you look throughout the word of God, he's always telling people to seek counsel, mm. seek counsel. And if we're looking at our whole beings, body, soul, and spirit, right. that means there's times where my mind needs counsel. Mm. And then I've got to go get it. That That's our responsibility. And I think that taboo about mental health just comes from a lack of understanding, right. as with a lot of other things. Yes, ma'am. So yes, he says, my people suffer for a lack of knowledge. Mm. So it's not that the information is not available, it's that you're not seeking it, and then if you get it, you don't use it. Right, right. And the concept of praying it away is just not what God is telling us. It is right? not. He's saying, pray, be steadfast, but continue to work. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and that work aspect is work on yourself, work on your family, work yes. on the community. Yes. And so it's not always about just pray and pray and pray. That's but an excuse. Excuse. Listen, listen. See, she I'm said not, it. She I, said I'm it. At, I'm a sheep boat she barrel. Said it. It's she, an excuse. Mm. Praying is supposed to enable you mm. to do the yes, thing you're praying Amen. about. Amen. Not sit on a log mm. and do nothing. He mm. said it's not the hearer. Mm. It's the person that's justified, but it's the person that's doing. Mm. So you take what you have and you begin to use it and you watch them expand it. So... I'm in a generation that's in between our boomers and our Z's, millennials, today's, right? Okay. And 
I'm in I'm in that in between space where we're balancing of old school thought of what self care looks like and what self care looks like today. You know, words of affirmation, um, meditation, and things of that nature. Um, and then, of course, prayer, right? But what can you say about how do you maintain your mental health in a space or in an environment where everything's coming at you so quick and fast? Okay, especially in my space where I do counsel people, mm -hmm. I'm always on the go. I have uh, people that I go to, it's like, look, I'm not thinking right, I'm not feeling right, you know, so the first thing is acknowledging where you are, mm -hmm. honestly with yourself, because if you can't be honest with yourself, you can get all this great counsel and it's not going to be of any value, because yes. you don't see your problem, mm -hmm. so I know that I deal with a lot of people, um, just in what I do, there's a lot of rejection, there's a lot of stuff going on. So for me to be able to have a clear headspace, I have people who I trust.